Hey friend, welcome back. As always, I'm your host, Brian Davis, co-founder of Spark Rental. I am on a journey to reach financial independence and I am not doing it alone. We've got hundreds of other members in our co-investing club. We get together every month, we vet deals, we bring in outside experts to come and speak to us, and we get to do something similar on the podcast where we get outside experts to come in and answer questions for us, uh, drill into one specific topic at a time in just a couple minutes to keep these really short and sweet. So today we've brought in Mike Cuevas. He's the host of the Real Estate Marketing Dude podcast. He's the founder of Real Estate CRM platform Referral Suite. And Mike, I wanted to talk to you today about how to make sexy offers as a real estate investor. How do you get people's attention if you're trying to compete with you know, dozens, hundreds of other investors who are sending letters to distressed sellers or, you know, distressed property owners. How do you make sexy offers as an investor? So I like doing what everyone else does it. And that's usually where it's at. Now, let's just compare what everyone else's offer is. Cash buyer, I'll buy your house, right? It's typically, is that fair to say? I'm going to buy your right. house, I'm going to buy your house. Great. Well, I do it the opposite way. I like to say we have house options. So based on what you want to, what you want to do, and this is excellent for conversion. So I walk you through four different options that not only um, you can present to these leads, but you can also monetize in other ways. Now this would involve you, um, the, you being an investor, having to get, call it a real estate license for the following reason. Um, but you can monetize all your turndowns, which will actually then, you know, all your turndowns that when you say turndowns, I mean your turndown deals that people said, no, I, I want highest and best. Those are the perfect scenarios to refer over to a realtor at that point. As long as you're licensed, you could collect a referral fee on it. But because I know that what one in 10 deals leads to like an actual contract or more like one in 15 nowadays, one in 20, what do you do with the rest of those turndowns? And that's the key. See, when we came in with options with sellers, we, we start with, hey, I'm going to buy your house, but I know that that's not going to work many of the time. So this is where the offer gets sexy. A lot of real estate investors are contractors, right? Or they have sure. trades and they need to keep their, their peeps busy. So one of the programs we put together was we started helping people flip their own homes. And what we said is, hey, you want to max, here's how you, and here's the offer. Here's how you maximize the sales price of your property and flip your own house. I've tested the terminology, flip your own house, pulls, it converts, it works. Because people are like, what? I want to flip my own house. So here's how it works mentally. People are like, how do you, what do you mean you could flip your own house? Well, most people want highest and best dollar. All right. And what you do that is there's a couple companies in the U.S. that do this now. They'll go in and they'll meet with a seller and they'll say, hey, Mr. Seller, we're going to front you the funds to fix up your house and make it top of the line. And then we're going to list it. And then we're going to get top dollar as a result of that. But here's the interesting thing. You would think most people would take that offer, don't you? Sure. No, 90% of them said, no, I'd rather just list my house in as-is condition. So the point is, is that when you have to help someone flip their own house, what has to also happen? If they're living in it, they need to move and get the hell out of there and go stay in a hotel for two weeks, three weeks, right. four weeks, depending on the rehab. There's an inconvenience factor here that a lot of people won't get over. And if this is an absentee owner and it's a tenant situation, you know that this isn't even an option, right? So, however, what gets the phone to ring is, hey, I'll help you flip your own house. Now, what ended up happening in most of those cases is that you're going to get two types of sellers. Um one is just going to end up going into the cash offer, especially in a tenant situation, because the amount of vacancy will kill the deal. Therefore, they're going to be forced to want to take the cash offer. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Now, the other option is that when they do want to flip their own house, I've seen a lot of investors set this up many different ways. Uh, as a matter of fact, a friend of mine in Chicago um, accidentally started a real estate company doing this. This is where I learned this from. He would approach everyone and help them flip their own houses. And in the event they didn't, he would either buy it as a rehab, take it down himself, flip it, or he would come in, do the work, and tack on a contracting fee that was almost equivalent to him flipping the house anyways. Now he's not taking the property down, but he's making the same amount of money, right? So all he's really doing is he's just a contractor and taking a real estate agent too. taking way less risk. And it's a win-win for everybody. But here's the point is that you start giving people options and not saying, hey, it's my this way or the highway and that's the only option here. Give them options, let them decide. The only thing that matters is that you have a way to monetize each one. In this scenario, I'm either gonna monetize these options, I'm gonna buy it, take it down myself, monetize as a rental or a rehab or a flip, right? Or in the other scenario, I'm gonna monetize it through my trades, right? There's a couple bucks you'll make on that, but I'm also going to monetize it towards referring that deal to a real estate agent 
or I'm going to be the real estate agent. In either case, you're going to net three and a half to 4% of the listing price, which in some markets is almost a wholesale field people make. It's just a much easier, less risky way and being creative and sellers love it. Yeah, no, I love that for so many reasons. I mean, distressed sellers in particular, you know, a lot of most of them feel like their backs are up against the wall. You know, they're embarrassed, they're ashamed. You know, they're getting hundreds of of letters in the mail from people saying, "I'll buy your house for cash." You know, so I, most of them they just they want to feel like they're in control again of their own house of of their own life. Uh, so giving them all these options, uh, it, yeah, it just makes total sense. And they're all win options for you, right? So no matter which option the, the seller takes you up on, you win in some way, shape, or form. And some of these, you earn just as much money, but with half the risk or less the risk. So I love that. Uh, Mike, in 30 seconds or less, how do you help people and how can people sure. connect with you if they want to take you up on that help? Sure. I would say come visit me on my podcast, Real Estate Marketing Dude. Uh, we've been up since 2014. Just let us listen to some of the episodes we have and tell us uh, what you think about them. And if you really like what I do, you'll learn how to find me from there. Awesome. Well, Mike, thank you for coming on. And guys, if you enjoy these quick hit episodes that we have been putting out, please rate, review the show, makes a world of difference to us. And on that note, we will catch you next time. Wondering how private equity real estate investing works? We get it. A lot of investors are put off by phrases like private equity or real estate syndication, but these completely passive investments are actually a lot easier than buying properties directly, buying properties yourself in your own name. So we offer a free 40 minute class called Hack the Rich, seven secrets we've learned from private equity real estate. There's not even a sales pitch at the end. We'll show you how to invest in these on your own without any help from us. So go to sparkrental.com slash hack to take the free class. And we can't wait to chat about your questions.